Hello there YouTube friends. So today I got a chance to take some of this aluminum wire. It is magnet wire. And uh wind some coils. Now it didn't work out the way I had hoped it had. I had bought a thousand feet and the plan was to put four run windings and a trigger on one for a total of five wires and then another five wires on the other. But as it turned out, there wasn't a thousand feet on the roll. It was short by about 50 feet. So, when I got to the end of winding this one over here, which is five winds, I was left to wind four winds on the other one. Which really kind of changed things because now there's a different number of turns on either one. And um, as it were, these were these are like dollar store uh, ribbon, like you know, decorative ribbon spools, and they were just a buck. So I thought, oh, I might make a nice coil for them. And part of like this whole thing is experimental. I don't even know how well this aluminum wire is going to work out, but it sure is light. And uh, if it does work out nice, then I'm going to make a really big unit. Um, but I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing first, you know, and so I'm kind of glad in a way that I went with the aluminum wire simply because figuring out my coil forms, um, I'm kind of adamant with staying with the, with the solenoid style coil form as opposed to just wrapping it around something and making loose loops. I have a little more faith in the spark that'll come out of a, uh, uh, plus, you're going to get more turns on a on a on this kind of a form than say if I wrapped it around something. But who's to say? But that's sort of where my thinking has been going. So I've been looking for a good cheap coil form that's big, and I've seen what a lot of guys use, and I kind of wish I could have got my hands on one. But there was about $150 worth of cable on the only one I could see, which is those big black spools. I see a lot of guys using those, but. Uh, I'll have to go to some audio shop or something and see if they've got some empty spools. Maybe that's where guys get them. I don't know. But in any event, um, it's only ten dollars worth of wire, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Um, so interestingly, though, I'm just kind of thinking, well, hmm, what should I do with this? You know, should I should I build something up or just test board something, breadboard something, and you know, where do I want to go with it so that I don't end up doing a whole lot of extra work that has to be torn apart later. Something that I did a little differently this time with a Bedini coil was, you can see the very first thing I wound on there is a 30 gauge wire that does 22 turns around the base of the spool. And as to exactly what I'm going to do with that, I don't know, but there's a couple of ideas that I have. So there's a 30 gauge wire that goes in there and it does 22 turns all the way around. Now on this one I think I ended up with about 148 turns with 100 feet lengths. And this one here was actually more. Because um, there's one strand missing and it was about 158 turns. And it's got a little thing there. Um, thoughts on that were a couple of things. I thought about... Um, I thought about uh, having like a LED indicator light, so that would be my signal. I don't even really care what kind of strength comes off of it, as long as there's a signal off of it that's um, you know workable. If I can get a, if I can get a you know workable signal off of that, then I can use a signal transistor to open up some more current, even if there's not enough for LEDs. Um, but I didn't think about it too much to be honest in terms of I had no idea how many turns were going to end up on the coil but now at least I do like I know now that I can take this coil form for example and there was extra room um, it would have been nice to fill it right out so having said that there's five you know there's five wires on here and judging by what's left on the coil form I could have got probably oh maybe seven possibly even eight lets together 
definitely seven. Um, so I could have got seven on that. So I have an idea now of where I want to go and um, in as far as total number of turns you know I'm not even sure what the goal is because these solid states are so much of a variant off of the simplified schoolgirl setup. So anyways there it is and I uh, basically made this video because I'm sort of scratching my head so if you got some ideas and whatever your thoughts are shoot them my way and uh, contemplate anything and everything. I mean I could just unwrap the coil forms too and let's the two systems together but yeah I'm not, like I say I'm not too worried about it it's ten dollars worth of wire and I wanted to use this stuff just to get to know a coil form I know I can get these consistently and so now I kinda know how much 18 gauge fits on there and uh, if I end up buying copper um, I will remember next time to buy at least you know a hundred feet more than I need and uh, but hey it's all a learning experience getting to know it and the goal is eventually I want to build uh, something with about uh, 42 strands of uh, 18 gauge something that will really bang a, a, a solar bank for desulfating thanks for watching bye for now